think we're live. Hopefully a few of you have been able to tune in. Uh, Saturday, the 28th of March, 2 p.m. in London. Um, hope everybody's having a, a, a decent Saturday. My Saturday morning started quite differently. So usually I'm a soccer mom. I'm like taking one kid to Hackney Marshes for a game, running the other one to his uh, training and just basically taxing kids back and forth to soccer matches. And I never thought I'd really miss that, but I really do today. Instead, this morning I was queuing outside of Morrison's for nearly an hour to just get some groceries. So let's hope that this all passes very soon and I can go back to being the soccer mom and I will appreciate it so much more than I ever did. But you know, when, when things start to bog you down, then like I always find that moving and using your body and just breathing and stretching just help you get back to your center and back to feeling normal again. So that's what I'm hoping to achieve in the next 45 minutes as um, we go ahead and have a good stretch and do some strengthening and, and some good breathing. So optional equipment today, I'm going to throw in some light weights. But again, if you don't have weights, don't worry about it. Just kind of do it without. I may use the band and also a ball. But if you again, these are really optional things, um, which if you do have at home, you can add to it. But if you don't, don't worry about it. And if anyone has any questions on where to get equipment, send me a message on Instagram, my Get Broke Instagram page, or you can even leave something in the comment box here on the YouTube channel, or you can always email me at mcconaughey at gmail.com. Any questions, let me know. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. So starting, standing at the end of your mat, just go through uh, your alignment kind of from the top to the bottom. So we think of breathing out of the top of the head, shoulders down, ribs towards your hips. Your pelvis should be nice and level. Knees a little bit soft, but like straight. And then spread the toes nice and wide. Just rock slightly forward and back. Involve the feet to your heels. And then just settle somewhere in the middle. Start drawing the abdominals in. Breathe in, reach the arms overhead. And then as you breathe out, come up onto your toes, holding your balance, drawing the abdominals a little closer in towards the spine, and then reach your arms out to the side, drop your heels down to the mat, drop your chin to your chest, round your spine, and roll yourself all the way down, just hanging over your legs. Nod the head yes, and then shake the head no, just relaxing any tension through the neck, and then swing left and right, just swing your torso side to side. Come back to the center, bend your knees, get your hands to the mat, breathe out, walk your hands forward. Breathing out as you come into your plank, lift the head, make sure the hips are level with your shoulders, shoulders away from the ears. Now we're gonna breathe in, drop your knees down to the mat, just touch, and then exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. So come on to the tips of the toes as you drop those knees. Try not to drop the hips. Two more, down and up. Last one, and lift. Now we're gonna come into some push-ups, so bending your elbows, pull your elbows in tight, Exhale, press them out away. If you want to modify that, just drop those knees down and do your modified push up. Breathe in as you lower, breathe out as you lift. Three more. One, two, and lift. Last one, up and hold. And lift your hips really high, press into your heels, and just hold your stretch there. Walk your hands back to your feet. Bend the knees around the spine. Roll yourself all the way up. Shoulders and head coming up last. Big breath in, reach the arms up. And then breathing out, back up into your balance. Just pull the knees slightly together, get the inner thighs engaged to help you hold that balance. And as you lower the heels, we're gonna take the hands behind you, lift the arms up, and then hinge yourself forward. Let the arms drop away from the body. Have a little look at your feet. Just check that the feet are still parallel, toes and heels in a line. And again, let's nod the head. Let the arms just drop away from the body. Then drop the hands down to the mat. Bend your right knee with the left leg straight, and then switch it. Left knee bends, right leg straight. One more time each way. And switch. And then bend both knees, hands to the mat again, walking forward, breathing out as you come forward. Lift the head, drop the hips. Now lift your right leg up. Drop that knee under the body, so left elbow. Lift the toe high. Then drop the knee low. Two more times. Inhale and exhale. Last one. And down. Back into your plank. Switch sides. Left leg up. Left knee to right elbow. Really reach that toe to the top of the wall behind you. 
Shoulders come behind the hands, and then shoulders go over the hands as you drop. Down, try to connect the knee to the elbow, last one. And down, back into your plank. And again, hips high into your downward dog. Hold your stretch. Walk your hands back to your feet. Bend the knees, round the spine, and articulate all the way up to standing. Head up last. Now lift your left arm up, slide your right hand down the side of the leg, just lengthening through that left side. Just imagine your ribs almost separating, opening out. Inhale, right arm up, and stretching that right side. Try not to lean, but go straight up, like a peeling balloon is pulling you up to the ceiling. Good, hand comes down to the mat. One last time, chin to your chest, rounded spine, rolling all the way down. Hang there for one breath, and then soften the knees. Walk your hands forward, breathing out again as you come forward. This time we're going to lift the head, drop the hips, and take the feet out and back. Alternate sides out and back. Up and over, up and back. Try to keep the energy in the movement. So it's like a bouncing ball. Out and back and out and back. Stay there for four and three. Last two. And one, come back to the center. Now we're gonna go to the arms. Right hand to the left shoulder, left hand to the right shoulder. Stay there, eight, seven, little rock side to side, six, five, four, three, two, one. Both hands down, drop the knees, and stretch out your back. Stretch your arms, rest your head. Drag your hands back, roll your shoulders back. Roll them forward and spin yourself around so you're on your back, back into the middle of your mat. We're going to come into a tabletop position. So your knees should be over your hips, shins parallel to the floor, thumbs to the uh, lowest front rib, trying to put button that rib down, fingertips touching the hip bone, trying to draw your low abdominals in, lift your pelvic floor, but we have a little bit of a gap onto the lower back, so a little bit of a curve there, that natural curve. Peel your head and shoulders up, reach your hands to the wall in front of you and start pumping your arms. Breathing in for more beats. Breathe out, two, three, four, breathe in. Now let's even stretch the legs. Breathe in, two, three, four, add a little turn out on those toes. So heels are together, you should have a little V between your heels. Breathe out, two, three, four, breathe in. Two, three, four, breathe in. Aim for four more breaths. You need to dial it back. You can just pull those knees back in. If you need to support the head, take a hand behind the head. Two more breaths. And out. Two, three, four. Last one. Breathing in. Two, three, four. And out. Two, three, four. Good. Shoulders down. Knees in. Big breath. And then reach the arms overhead. Stretch your legs out long. Point the toes. Squeeze the legs together. Lift your hands. Lift your head. Peel your spine up and then stretch forward, just folding over the legs. Now breathing in, roll back into a straight back, articulating the spine, imagining a wall behind you, and then breathe out, round the spine, starting with that lower back, slowly coming down to the mat. Inhale, lift the arms overhead, and exhale, curling up. Now if you do have some light weights at home, let's actually grab them now. I'm gonna straighten up the back, keep the, the weights in your hands. We're gonna roll halfway back, hold here, and lift the arms overhead. Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down. So we're in that C curve through your spine, kind of rolling halfway back, pointing to keeping the legs active. So try to squeeze the legs together. That's two, and down, and one. Now before we come down, we're gonna open the arm out. So twisting to one side, inhale, center. Twist the other side, and center. Four more. Twist, and center, and three. Try to really reach to the back, back corner of the mat. Open the chest out, keep the movement slow. Get that full range of motion. One more each way. Twist, center, twist, center, and then come all the way back. Breathe in, reach the arms overhead, and then breathing out, lift the hands, head, spine, peel up. Reach forward. Breathe in, straightening up the back again. We're going to come all the way down once again. Go with those weights in the hands if you have them. Inhale. Exhale, hands, head, spine, peeling up. Stretch forward. Inhale, straighten up back, back into our nice straight back. We're going to come halfway back again. 
Now we're gonna hold uh, the left arm up to the ear, right arm across the body. Switch, right arm to the ear, left arm across the body. And switch. So the key here is to keep the pelvis and the lower body perfectly still as we twist the shoulders, as we challenge those abdominals. The arm is working a little bit as well, getting that full range of motion, arm right up to that ear. And back, point the toes, squeeze the legs together. Get active legs, even when we're working into the upper body. Last one, come back to the front, and then roll yourself all the way down. Now I want you to drop those weights if you had them in your hands. Inhale to hold, and then exhale into your V sit. Pull your knees into your chest. Roll the shoulders back. Let's lift the arms up, and so you can lift the legs up without dropping that chest. Good, hold, exhale, control all the way down. Big breath in. And then breathing out, and back into our V-sit. Shoulders back, nice proud chest. Stretch the fingers, stretch those legs, and then slowly roll yourself all the way back down. Big breath in. Next one, let's see you can come up with the legs straight. So imagine this rope strings pulling you up, holding you high, and then exhale, control down. Inhale, hold. And again, trying to come up with the legs straight. Stretch the arms into the toes, and then exhale, slowly back down to the mat. Now wrap your hands around your knees, tuck your knees into your chest, and just that little rock side to side. Yeah. Lift your toes up to the ceiling, and circle your ankles. Just mobilizing those feet. Point the toes, feel your head and shoulders up off the mat, hold the back of the right leg, the left leg drops down, and then switch. So just doing one big pull here, big exhale with each pull. Stay there for eight, seven, six, start to scoop the belly button and lower back presses into the mat. Last four, three, two, and one. Now quick reset, shoulders down, knees in. And then for the next one, we're gonna add a little twist, hands come behind the head, head and shoulders up. We're gonna turn towards that left leg, really lift that right shoulder high, and then switch it. Again, strong exhale with each twist. Stay there for six and five, four. If it's too strong, just drop it into a crisscross. This is your modification. Last three, two, one. And then again, recover knees in, shoulders down. Good. Okay, we're gonna stretch the legs out long. Cross your right leg over your left. Now I want you to find the length from the crown of the head right to the tips of the toes. So we're just really stretching the body long. Take your fingertips, button the ribs down. Just scoop the belly button in, big pelvic floor lift down, hands behind the head. We're gonna curl the head and shoulders up and down. Lift and lower. So imagine the lengthening of the legs is almost helping to pull your chest up a little higher. That the longer you stretch those legs, the more you're gonna lift those shoulders. Also think about your ribs drawing down towards your hips, shortening that distance between your ribs and hips. Make sure you're not pulling in the back of the head. Hold the next one up, little crunches up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let's hold, scoop the belly button in a little tighter, lift your right knee up to tabletop. Crunch towards that knee for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And then we freeze the upper body, pull the knee into the chest. Eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and now we freeze the chest and the knee, and we lift that left leg up, flex and point. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop the left leg, drop the right leg, stretch your arms overhead, inhale. Good, and we gotta do it all on the other side. Left leg crosses over the right, ribs towards the hips, belly button in, pelvic floor lifting. Feel the head and shoulders up. And down, lift, and lower again. Keep the legs active, stretching through those toes. Nice, long, strong legs. Everything stays scooped in through the core, so I don't want anything bulging up as you curl the head and shoulders up. We engage your transverse abdominals, your deepest muscle, before engaging the rectus abdominals, your surface muscle. That transverse will pull the surface muscle down. Hold the next one up. Little crunches there. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two and freeze. The left knee comes up, crunch towards the knee for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold knee into the chest for eight, seven. Keep the shoulders high like you're propped on the tips of those shoulder blades. Three, two, and one. Hold the chest and the knee still, just flexing point. Eight, seven, six, five. Keep scooping the belly button in, 
two and one, extend the right leg, left leg, arms overhead, and big lift through the rib cage. So really arch that back up off the mat. Good. Now sink the ribs down, hands to your side. Now let's, if you have a ball, we're gonna find that ball, and we're gonna be balancing on the ball. In our tabletop, fingertips up. If you don't have a ball, basically exactly the same, but maintaining that neutral spine, keeping that rib cage, uh, keeping the rib cage down, but that natural curve of your lower back, so not imprinting. Now again, and also if you have weights, let's add their weights. Behind you somewhere. And knees up, weights up. This is what I call a dead bug position. So your hands are over your shoulders, your knees are over your hips. There's no, no limbs in this part of your body. So try to keep it that way. So I, what I see often in class, people do this. It's not what I want. I want this. We're going to do one arm, one leg, out and back. Then kind of lock one arm and one leg in place. Other side goes out and back. So we keep that scoop through the abdominals. We're working our, tr our transverse abdominus. So your deepest muscle, the one that narrows and gets smaller when you engage it, when it contracts. So you feel that scooping and hollowing through the abdominals as you move your limbs. Right arm, left leg, and back. We're extending the leg to the wall in front of you, reaching the arm to the wall behind. Again, if you don't have weights, just move the arms without the weights. Stay there for four and three. Last two, exhale as you open, inhale as you lift, one more, out and back. Now just check your alignment, try to get that lowest back rib down on the mat, the belly button in tight, pelvic floor lifting. Now we're gonna go out to the sides, right arm, left knee. Come back to our starting point, left arm, right knee. So it's like you're opening one arm and one leg out to the sides like a book. So your spine is like the spine of that book. Kind of keep it perfectly still as you open those pages up either way. Breathing out and in. Exhale, control. Now if you get the death wobble and really if you have the ball and you're starting to really struggle with the balance, you can always just do the legs. Don't feel like you have to do the arms and legs. Maybe keep the elbows down on the mat to help you stabilize. Last one, out and back. Now hold here. We're gonna flex your feet. I want you to drop one heel to the mat, hold it there, but imagine you're touching water. No weight into that heel. Left heel comes down to the mat, keep the ribs down, lift the right knee up, left knee up. And again, right heel down, left heel down, right knee up, left knee up. One more time, leading with that right foot, following with the left. Now we're gonna switch it, we're gonna lead with the left. So left foot comes down first, follow it with the right, and up, and up two more. Left heel, right heel. Keep the shoulders strong, keep the arms strong. Last one, one foot down, both feet down, one knee up, both knees up. Now reach your arms out to the sides, get a nice stretch there, reaching through the fingertips. But if you have weights, let them kind of pin your arms down and then just let the weights kind of roll away. Pull your knees into your chest, straighten out the legs. I'm going to hold the back of the right leg as your left leg up, drops out, so into like a bit of a split. Good. Switch the legs, left leg into your chest, right leg out long. And then drop your right foot, drop your left foot, lift your hips up off of the ball, take the ball away. And we're going to roll up into a balance. Now make sure you've got enough space behind you because we're going to roll back and send our legs behind us. So we start in our V-sit balance. Take your hands down to the mat, take the toes, kind of touch the floor behind you, and then roll it back into your balance. Hands down to the mat, roll back, touch the toes behind, roll forward into your V-sit balance. Feet up, hands should be in line with those uh, shins. Now we're gonna add a little change. We're gonna touch the floor or as close as you can get, and then lift up to the ceiling. Roll back into your balance. And again, so we start with the feet reaching to well behind. Uh, flex the feet, point the toes, lift up, and then roll into the balance. So try that two more times. Hands down to the mat, toes reaching behind, feet flexed. Lift the toes up to the ceiling, point the toes, roll it back up, and one last time. So this should feel good, really. I mean, it feels good for me. It's just a lovely stretch. And so it's good to roll around. Now let's grab your feet, 
Sit up nice and tall, shoulders back, knees out to your side. Good, spin yourself around and we're gonna come down. We're gonna do our leg stay. Feel free to grab a quick sip of water. Do our legs without equipment today. We're gonna come down to the elbows, which kind of makes it a little bit more intense. We slide your right leg back and really stretch that leg long. Shoulders down away from the ears, lift your lower back, scoop the belly button in, and lift that right, lift that right leg high to low. Lift and lower. Stay there for eight and seven, six. So really squeezing that right glute, the top of that right leg each time you lift that leg up. Keep your left hip quite strong, so we're not sinking into that hip joint as you lift the right leg. Next one, we lift up and we lift up and hold. Now point the toe up to the ceiling. Little pulses up. Lift. Eight, seven, six, five. Imagine poking holes in the ceiling. So get that toe as high as you can. Three, two, and one. Now drop the knee down to the mat and then stretch the leg out straight. So we bend and extend. Knees together, stretch that leg. Have a little check that your left hip is over your left knee. I don't want you leaning too much into that left side to move that right leg. Everything should stay fairly balanced. Last four, and three, two, hold this last one. I'll lower that foot slowly down to the mat, slide it out to the corner, and then add a little rotation. But still keep that right hip down. Just rotate that leg in that hip socket. Lift the right leg up, inhale down. Toe touches the corner of the mat. We lift, we're kind of leading with that pinky toe. So just kind of with that twist, Leg a little bit wider than your hip. It just attacks the muscle from a slightly different angle. So there for five. Keep the movement slow. Four, full range of motion. Toe should touch the mat each time, but not resting. Last two, holding the last one up. Now we're gonna wrap that toe around. Little pulses, like you're trying to tap the opposite shoulder, like a little scorpion tail. Sit at eight, seven, six, five, four, three, to, um, before we change sides, I want you to come up to your hands, drop the knee under the body, reach your knee towards your forehead, round the spine, and then reverse it. Rolling through the spine, reach the toe around to the back of the head. Exhale, from the shoulders, rolling through to that tailbone last. Knee to forehead from the tailbone, arching the back, rolling up, head comes up last. One more time, each way, chin to chest, roll through the shoulders, all the way down to that tailbone. Inhale, lift. Good. Now take the right knee down, drop back to your elbows, shoulders away from the ears, slide your left leg back. Right hip stays over the right knee, left hip points to the mat, lift the leg up and down. Breathe out and in. Stay there for six, and five, four, three, two. Holding the last one up, bend the knee, point the toe, pulse up nice and high, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, hold, and drop the knees together, then stretch the leg long. Knees together, reach that toe to the top of the wall behind you. Stay there, six more, and reach, and four. Last three, two, hold that last one, and then slowly, as if you're pushing out a heavy spring, drop that foot to the mat, slide it out to the corner, Add your rotation, but right hip stays over the right knee, left hip points to the mat, lift the leg along diagonal, and lower. Lift and lower, stay there for six, and five, last four, three, two, hold that last one up, bend the knee, wrap the toe around, little pulses, eight, seven, like your scorpion tail is wrapping around to that right shoulder, last four, three, two, and one. Now turn the knee, come up to your hands, breathe out, round the spine, drop your chin, knee reaches to the forehead, articulating through that spine, lift the toe, lift the head, exhale from the shoulders, roll through the middle back, the lower back, then from the tailbone, arching that lower back, middle back, upper back. Two more times each way, chin to chest, and round the spine, lift it all the way back up. And do the lungs as you round, and then fill the lungs as you lift. Good, left knee down, sit back onto your heels, open your knees out and sink your ribs between your knees, rest your head on the mat. Good, drag 
back your hands back. Wrap the hands behind you. Lift the chest look up to the ceiling. And the fingers lace in front of you, palms out, around the spine, look down towards your abdominals. Lift the arms up overhead, a little swing to the left, a little swing to the right. Knees come back together and spin yourself around to sitting. Now, if you, again, if you have the weights, go ahead and grab your weights. And turn side on so you can see where my knees are. So my knees are right in line with my hips. We're gonna round the spine, elbows out to the side, shoulders down. So if you're using weights, just pop the weights into your hands. You can always grab hands as well. We're gonna go down an inch and up an inch. Let me just turn so you can see what's happening here. We're in our C curve. So we're scooping the belly button in, movement comes from the pelvis and the lower back. So we're zipping that belly button in tight, lower back coming down towards the floor. Stay there for four. And three, last two, hold this one. Now open that right arm out to the side, look over that shoulder, breathe in, come back to the center, breathe out, turn to the left, inhale, center, twist right, and center, and left, and center. Let's go one more time each way. Keep your elbows out wide, shoulders down, Last one, back to the center, touch your fingertips together, lift the arms up overhead, like your arms making a circle that then frames that head in the circle of your arms. Keep the scoop through the core, last two, and down. Hold the last one up, hang there for four, three, two, and one, and then take the hands back to the shoulders, straighten out your back. As you exhale, once again, tilt the pelvis, scoop the belly round the spine, shoulders away from the ears, Lift those weights and then turn to your right. Shoulders down, but elbows out. Go down an inch and up an inch. Tuck and lift. Stay there for six and five. Last four. Have a little look at your knees. Make sure they're leaning to that left side as you turn the shoulders to the right. Knees should stay in line with your hips. Last two. Hold that last one. Also, make sure your arms are out far enough. Some people pull them in a little bit too much. I want them out a little bit. Exhale, lift the arms overhead. If that feels too strong, alternate the arms. Just do one arm, then the other. Otherwise, go both arms. We're gonna aim for three more. Lift and lower. Last two, and down. Holding the last one up for four, three, two, one. Hands back to the knees, and stretch your back. Good. All right, back to the other side, tilt, scoop, roll it back, shoulders down, elbows up, turn to the left, go down an inch, up an inch, keep moving, down and up, staying there for six. Make sure those knees stay in line with the hips. Last four, three, two, hold the last one, left arm up and down and right. If you feel strong enough, do both. Let's go ahead and start with both, stay there for four. Three, last two, and one. Hands come back to the knees and we stretch out your back. Take a big breath in. Now pop your weights away. If you have a ball, grab your ball. But with this one, you really don't need to have a ball. That's quite nice to have something. We're gonna pass the ball under your feet. Hold it there. Now touch your toes, pass the ball over. Touch under, pass over. Stay there for six and five. Four, three, two, and hold that last one so you can stretch your legs out. Good, that's just the challenge. Drop your feet and roll over those legs. Grab your ankles, your calves, wherever you can reach. Pull that chest down towards your knees. Pull those toes into your body. And then stretch out your back. Circle your shoulders a little bit. Shake out your wrist. Anywhere you're holding tension, just kind of shake it out. Okay, we're going to come now to our shoulder bridge series. I think what, what I'm going to use. I'm going to use a ball and a band. I'm going to place the ball between the knees. So if you don't have a ball, a cushion also works. We're going to place the band over your hips, like right low over those hip bones. If you don't have a band, just squeeze a little harder at the top. Hands down on the mat, shoulders down, we're gonna breathe up. Press your lower back down into the mat, press up into that band, squeeze your ball tight, and then inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift, and lower. If you need to shorten that band, if you do have a band, you might wanna tighten it to give yourself a little more tension. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Stay there for eight, 
and seven. So I want you squeezing your glutes, working the inner thighs, squeezing that ball, but I also want you to think about your transverse abdominals again, your corset muscle. Try to wrap those muscles, try to shrink your waist an inch more narrow as you lift up. So we're breathing out, narrowing the waist, breathe in to lower, stay there for four, and three, last two, Next one, we're gonna hold the hips up. Now we're gonna take that band straight up to the ceiling. Maybe shorten the band a little bit and pull your elbows out to the sides. Lift the band back up. Keep squeezing that ball between the knees. Keep squeezing your glutes. Slide your ribs towards your hips so the abdominals are tight. Stay there for six and five. Last four, three, two, Last one, and then reach the arms all the way behind you, back to the hands, touch the floor, and then drop your rib cage down for its middle back second. Try to get through every joint of that lower back last till your tailbone comes down and we're back in a neutral spine. Band comes back over your hips. Second set, we're gonna do on our tiptoes. So walk your toes in close to your hips, lift your heels as high as you can. Press your lower back down, so get that scoop, get that imprint, hold your band tight. Squeeze the ball as you lift the hips up, and Inhale, lower, exhale, lift, and lower. Stay there for eight, and seven, six. Get that full range of motion. We feel the mat under your hips as you lower, and then lift as high as you can. Stay there, four more, and three. If you're doing it right, this actually starts to work your arms a little bit as well, just that having to hold that band down as you kind of really push those hips up. Hold the next one up, little squeezes, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Arms up overhead, maybe shortening that band slightly. Exhale, pull the elbows out. Inhale, lift the band. Exhale, pull. And let's keep squeezing that ball. Keep squeezing the glutes. Keep narrowing the waist. Really stretch that band. Stay there for four, three, two, and one, now lift the band up over your head, back to the hands, now reaching to the floor behind you. Drop your rib cage down first. Imagine your, butt, your spine like a bicycle chain, one link at a time, dropping into that mat, articulating every joint as you slowly come all the way down. Now drop your heels, take your hands back across. Now, we're gonna transfer the ball under your feet. You don't need the, the band for this one. So I'm gonna dig your heels into the ball. If you don't have a ball, I'll show you that. We're gonna just dig your heels down, but I want your knees together so there's no daylight between your legs. Really zip everything tight. I'm gonna lift the hips up and down. Your toes are up. So this is if you have the no ball option. If you do have a ball, those heels dig into that ball. The instability of the ball just makes everything work a little harder. Exhale, lift and lower. Lift. So you might feel this a little bit more in the hamstrings, in your inner thighs. If you're balancing on one of those soft balls, stay there for six. And five, last four, three, two, hold the last one up again. Eight little squeezes, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And those, the softer the ball is, the harder it is on those muscles. So stretch your legs out, take a big breath, and then just grab the insides of your feet, like the arches. Pull your knees out to your armpits as your happy baby pose. Try to stretch one leg out and then bend that knee, stretch the other leg out. Bend the knees and stretch both legs out. Bend the knees. And then we're gonna do one last shoulder bridge. Kick your ball away. Come up onto your tiptoes again. Hands to your lower abdominals, press your lower back down. Scoop everything in tight, pelvic floor lifting up and away, the tailbone and pubic bone, pubic bone coming in towards your chest. And then peel the spine the rest of the way up off the mat to a nice high shoulder bridge. Button your ribs towards your hips. So just kind of closing that rib to hip connection. Fingertips up to the ceiling. And we're going to extend that right leg. Flex your foot. Lower the arms. Lower the leg. Exhale as you lift everything back up. Inhale as you lower. Exhale, lift. So there's six. So we're high on that left toe. Look down your body. Check that your hips aren't twisted or tilting at all. Right hip should be level with the left as we move the arms and leg. Stay there four more. And lift. Last three. Lift. Two. 
And one, we're gonna change sides, right toe comes down to the mat, hips nice and high, shoulders down. Make sure the fingertips are right over those shoulders. Left foot comes up, flex. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Breathe in and out. Really lengthen through. Heel. Stretching that leg as long and straight as you can. Same, lengthening through your fingertips. We're always lengthening as we strengthen. Stay there, four more. Three. Last two. And one. Toe comes down to the mat. Arms reaching behind. And then slowly roll yourself all the way down one bit at a time. Wrap your hands around your knees. Hug your knees into your chest. Throw your chin into your chest. And again, let's just roll up. Elbows out wide. We're just going to roll back to the shoulders. Up to your balance. One last time back. Good. Feet down to the mat. Flip yourself over onto your side. We're going to keep the bottom knee bent. Uh, stretch the straight leg, the top leg out. So top leg is straight, bottom knee is bent. Shoulders back, belly button in, lift and lower. So the foot is flexed parallel to the floor. Nothing else moves. Try to keep, maybe take one hand to that hip and make sure the hip's not moving at all as you lift that leg. You should feel like the muscles and the connective tissue roll over it. The actual bone should not be moving. Ribs towards your hips as well, so we're not flaring the ribs. Last three, two, hold the last one, point the toe, big circle all the way around, freeze at the top, big circle all the way around, freeze at the top, nothing else moves. And freeze, last one, all the way around, hold, now reverse it, circle it back, down, forward, and freeze, back, down, around, and freeze. Last two, freeze, and one, Freeze, hold there, now lower the leg down, kick it forward, sweep it back, lift. So we go forward, back, up, down, again, forward, back. Full range of motion, really keep that foot right in front of you. Again, try not to move the hips, maybe take a hand to that hip, make sure just the muscles are moving. Last two, and back, lift, and lower, forward, back, up and down. Now extend the lower leg out, drop the head, lift the hand up to the ceiling and small circles with the top leg. Six, five, four, three, two, hold, reverse. Six, five, four, three, no movement anywhere else in the body. Two and one. Now hold that top leg up, zip the lower leg to the top leg. Lower leg moving, tap the foot, tap the floor. So that eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now zip everything together. Lift your head. Hand comes down to the side of the leg. So cinching the ribs, uh, ribs to hips at the top of the waist. Lift and lower. Just tighten that oblique. Get it for four and three. Last two and hold the last one for four. Three, two, one, drop your knee forward. Reach both arms out wide. Look to the wall behind you. And then circle that back arm over the head, past the arm in front, past your legs, and then opening, reaching the arms wide. Knock your water bottle over, I just did. Reverse your circles, two circles the other way. And each time those arms go apart, really stretch the fingertips. Feel the connective tissues of the arms just stretching all the way out. When the hands come back together, take your knees together and flip yourself over to the other side. So bottom knee is bent, top leg is straight. So imagine a wall right behind you. Heel, hip, shoulders, head all touching the wall. Ribs to your hips, belly button in and lift and lower. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, let's just check that hip's not moving. Two, hold, point the toe, hands in front, big circles, forward, down, back, and freeze, forward. Think about that leg like a compass, drawing that perfect circle, nothing else moving, holding at the top. One last time, all the way around, freeze, hold, reverse it, back, down, forward, and around. Have the looks, make sure that leg's going towards the back corner of your mat. Reaching back around and down. Last two. 
Make sure you're breathing. Hold the last one at the top. Now slowly lower that leg down. Keep it in line with your hip, no lower than the hip. Ribs to your hips, kick forward, back, up, down, forward, back, up, down, hand on the hip. Just make sure there's no movement through the torso, no movement through the lower back. Core is strong, stabilizing that upper body as we move the leg, sweeping all the way forward, all the way back, up and down. Three more. Imagine the foot running along a track, so we don't go any lower than the hip. Last two. Up and down. One. Back. Up and down. Now extend the lower leg. Drop your head. Lift this hand up. Top leg a little higher. Small circles. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold. Reverse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and freeze. Now the lower leg taps the foot, taps the floor. Eight. Seven, just keep your balance, scoop the belly button in, squeeze your glutes a little bit so those muscles of your upper body holding you like a vice. That's three, two. With the last one, we hold the legs, get a little lift the head, hand comes down the side of the legs, lower the head, lower the feet. Exhale, lift, and lower. Stay there for four, three, last two. Holding the last one, just walking the hands down with legs, and then drop the feet, drop the knee forward, reach your arms wide. So usually I take the hands with me. Today I'm just kind of stretching everything out. So back of the hand, back of the hand behind you touches that floor, hopefully, and then we circle that arm all the way around the body, keeping the hand as close to the floor as you can, dragging across those legs, sweeping it all the way behind you. And the arms open out again, stretch them a little longer, and then reverse your circles. Good. Just hold that last one, really reaching the arms apart, pull your knees together, and come up to sitting. I'm going to do a little bit of upper body. I might go slightly over 45 minutes today, but who cares? If you get bored, feel free just to check out whenever you want. That's the joy of being at home. Just do as much as you can. Okay, so we're going to do it. I'm going to do it with a band. If you don't have a band, weights are also quite useful. You can do arm circles up and down. If you don't have anything, just really tense the muscles and really kind of squeeze everything, especially those shoulders. I mean, think about string out the top of the head, lengthen, zip the core tight, little pelvic floor lift. So you're taking the arms out to your sides, make sure everything's even, got equal tensions on either side, and then small circles. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, same direction, eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold. Reverse two sets of eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and again. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Briefly drop the arms. Inhale. Keep that core strong. Keep lengthening through the crown of the head and soft tissue wrapping around. Lift the arms all the way up. Inhale out to a T. Exhale. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Stay in there for eight, seven, six, five. Good. Last four, three. Two, hold the last one, lift that head, lift the chin, and then slowly drop the arms out to the sides, roll your shoulders back, as I can just feel the heat kind of rising through my face, it's actually quite a good feeling. Take your hands to the front, kind of almost puff the chest, but zip the core in tight, so I just want to make sure your shoulders are together behind your back. Lift the arms up, upper arms close to the ears, inhale back. So imagine a wall behind you, imagine you're wearing a a, a brace on your spine, so the head, the shoulders, the hips cannot move as you move these arms. We're not kind of swinging, like whiplash, lifting the arms up, keeping the core strong and still. As we work into the shoulders and your upper back, feeling those muscles that run all the way along either side of your spine, it's tensing, strengthening as you lift those arms for three. Use the breath, two, hold the last one up. Now lower the right arm down. And up, left arm down, and up. Think about your rib to hip connection. Make sure we're not flaring. 
and down and up one more each way, right and left. And lift them both, arms slowly drop down, roll your shoulders back, roll them forward. Now pick up your band, elbows to the inside of the ribs, we're gonna reach out to the corners of the room, inhale back, exhale reach, and back. If you don't have, if you're using weights, same thing, just with weights. You might need to do a few more reps though, I think it's stronger with the band. Let's aim for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let's hold the last one out. Pulse it up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Eight, seven, six, five. We're gonna do two more sets of eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last set. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop the arms, wrap the hands behind you. Lift the arms, lace the fingers in front, round the shoulders, hands come back to the knees, ripple through the spine, now cross the one hand across the knee, other arm reaches behind you, inhale, grow an inch taller, exhale, twist a little further, switch the hands across the knee, inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist, back to the front, take the band away, and flip over onto your front. I'm going to actually... If you have weights, we're gonna throw some weights in. It's gonna be fun. Okay, all the way down. Grab your weights in your hands if you have them. Zip the belly button up away from that. My cue is always like imagine that piece of paper under your abdominals so you can slide that paper out. There should be like a little millimeter of space between your abdominals and the mat. Exhale, lift the chest, lift the elbows, lift the hands, inhale down. So your arms are in like a W shape. Up and down. If it's is too strong with those weights, just drop the weights. Stay there for five. Use your exhale to lift, inhale to lower. Last three, and two. Feet stay down on the mat, good. All the way down, now extend your arms. So kind of stack those weights. Your pinkies are uh, pointing to the mat, thumbs up to the ceiling. So we're gonna lift the arms, and lower, and lift. I know it's quite strong with the extra weights, so feel free to drop those weights. Or if you don't have weights, it's certainly strong enough. Patient, you can just drag your hands along the floor, keeping the pinkies on the mat as you lift the chest. Aim for three more, whichever level you're doing. Three, and two, last one, and drop the weights. Hands back to your sides. Now just let everything rest on the mat, just kind of resting on your chin. We're gonna breathe out, lift the chest, turn the pinkies up to the ceiling, pull your shoulder blades together, lengthen the back of the neck, hold there, feet stay down. Inhale, drop the back of the hands toward the floor, chest to the floor. Exhale again, lift the chest, rotate the arms, pinkies up to the ceiling, shoulder blades together, lengthen the arms down the sides of the legs. Inhale, lower back down. Next one, we're gonna add the legs. Lift the chest, lace the fingers, zip the heels together, lift the legs, looking down at the mat. Inhale, lower the chest. The feet and the hands. Two more, chest up, hands together, heels together, lift, length, and hold. Inhale down. And last one, chest up, hands together, heels together, hold for four, three, two, and one. Now I want you to relax your upper body, knees apart, heels together, so like frog legs. Turn a little, a little rock side to side just to loosen up your lower back. And then zip the lower abdominals in. Try to tilt the pelvis a little bit so your pubic bone is heavier than your hip bones. And try to lift your, heat, your knees up off the mat. Squeeze your heels together, lift those knees, and lower. Stay there, six, and five, four, keep the upper body strong, three, two, hold that last one up, squeeze those heels tight, and then drop the knees, sit back, all the way back onto your heels to stretch your back. Okay, the last exercise before we do our stretch is for our triceps, the one muscle we may not have worked so far. So let's make sure we don't leave any muscle unstrengthened or stretched. I'm gonna bend the elbows, extend, bend and extend. Just gonna go through the series fairly quickly. Stay there for four, three, two, hold, hips up. Now if you wanna dial it up, bend and extend. Make sure the elbows are still bending. It's not hips down and up. Keep the hips high as you bend into the elbows for five, four, three, two, hold the last one down. If you want to dial it up, lift one knee, keep going. Four, three, 
two, one, take that foot down, other knee comes up, and for four, three, two, one, both feet down, correct, hips a little higher, three bounces of the mitt, one, two, three, lift, one, two, three, lift, two more, one, two, three, lift, last one, one, two, three, lift and hold, and then sweep, really press them out of way as you swing your hips through your hands, lift the arms up to, arms up to the ceiling, pull your right elbow in, chin up, and then fingertips together behind your back, try to bind, connecting those fingertips together, you can't connect, just kind of stretch as close as you can. Now switching sides, the left elbow pulls in, chin up, right hand behind, get those fingertips together, and breathe. Okay, okay roll back onto your back. Cross your right ankle over your left knee, press the right knee away, and then wrap your hands around the back of that left thigh. Try to get the head down. Shoulders down, really open the shoulders out, really thinking about spreading your collarbone really wide. Tilt the pelvis forward a little bit and then rock side to side. So we find that neutral spine and just roll from one hip to the other. And cross the legs, right ankle over the, sorry, left ankle over the right knee, shoulders down, right knee pulls in, the left knee pushes away. That little tilt forward through the pelvis. And then roll from the right hip, left, right, and left, and just pull in, just holding there. Good. Now find your band or any kind of belt or anything you have at home. If you don't have anything, just use your hands. Lift the right leg up, left leg goes out long. Your ribs, scoop the abdominals. Try to get that knee really straight and pull the leg in. Good, drop the leg out to the right. Let's take the arm out to the left. So arm stretches in the opposite direction, turn the head in the opposite direction. Get that foot close to the floor and up, up towards your shoulder. And then take the leg back, take the hand up to switch hands on that band. Keep your right hip down, press the heel away. Turn your head to the right, stretch your arm out to the right. Good, hold in there, we're kicking the heel away. Pulling those toes in. And then back to the center, left leg goes into your band, right leg stretches out, the tilt the pelvis forward, kind of that neutral, ribs down, pull the leg in, get the knee straight. And leg goes out to the left, as the hand goes to the right, turning the head up to the right, just stretch the fingertips as you stretch the heel on the other side. And then take the hand up to meet that leg, just switching to your outer thigh stretch, turning the head to the left, arm reaches up to the left, foot presses over to that right side, keep that hip down, straighten up the leg, just stretch, pulling that band as you kind of push the heel away. Back to the center. Let's actually drop the band. You're going to cross your feet, pull your knees into your chest or your chin, chin into your chest. I'm going to roll up to sitting, feet down on the mat, and then just kind of spin yourself around. Good. Chin to your chest. Tuck the toes under. Lift the hips high into your downward dog. And press into the right heel and then the left. One more time each way, right and left. And then lift both heels high. And then jump both hips, heels low. Really lift the hips up. And walk your hands back to your feet. Just hang over the legs, not the head, yes. Shake the head, no. And then bend the knees, scoop your abdominals in and slowly roll yourself all the way up. Shoulders and head coming up last. Breathe in, lift the arms up. As you breathe out, come into your balance. Try to draw your heels together, zip the inner thighs together, squeeze the glutes, ribs towards your hips, holding nice and high. And then drop the heels down, wrap the hands together behind the back arms and shake everything out. Good. Well done everybody. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Um, no live sessions tomorrow but we'll be back on Monday. Um, I think we might have to do a little bit later than 9, maybe 9.15 but check back on the, uh, the Instagram channel or Facebook where we'll put, be posting the links and you'll get the exact times for next week then. Thank you. Have a good weekend. Bye.